This is the uh, third book in the Princeton Lectures and Analysis. Uh, I'm making a series of videos for all four of them. More like a bookmark for myself for the future. If I ever get around to reading these books, it would be wonderful if I had the time uh, to do so. Uh, all of them, I think, require some previous uh, reading or some side-by-side -side reading because uh, they're very good. They have a lot of deep concepts, but also they don't have any examples. And they're not really made for the little people. I think these books are made for people who are really uh, at a higher mathematical level. And I think for me, as a self learner, it's going to take me a it's going to take me a lot to be able to read these and not just read them like take notes, but actually understand the content. I think that's my point of view right now. Maybe I'll, I'll change over time. And so there are books that I'll read with or before I attempt any one of the uh, Princeton Lectures books. And as I've said before in the previous videos, <clears throat> uh, for Fourier analysis, there's a bunch of ODE, PD work that I would have to do. For complex analysis, not as much because I, I feel that that's actually the one that is most approachable of the four books. But then for this one, for real analysis, measure theory, integration, Hilbert spaces, this is clearly just a functional analysis book. And uh, so for that, I would have to uh, <clears throat> have known uh, some before it. I, I believe so. I think, <clears throat> and I think all of these books, and you can tell by the time they published this one, um, they had already worked on the fourth one. Yeah, and it's from 2005. <clears throat> and uh, I think I should uh, slow down so you can see it and pause if you want to read the page. Yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, measure theory, integration, putting together differentiation and integration, Hilbert spaces, more Hilbert spaces, and then abstract integration, measure and integration theory, the how stuff measure, some fractals, the radon transform, it gets, it gets a lot of play later on, uh, I think in the fourth volume, I believe, uh, Besikovich sets, yes. So this gets a lot of play in the fourth volume. Yeah, so there are no answers in the back, but it's a proof-based uh, book, so it's really normal for this type of book. Um, yeah. And I'll page through a little bit. Um, yeah. So, I mean, all, all four books go deep, and that's what I like about them. Um, but I, I, as I will say in all four videos, I believe for myself, I'm personalizing it, I would have to either do other books at the same time as I read these books, or do it then for some that it'll, it'll have to be before. This one, I'm not sure if it's, a, it's a before or during. Maybe this will be like <clears throat> a book that I read content of after but i can go chapter by chapter so i'll go to a regular measure and integration book read it do some exercises see the examples do the normal things that normal students do and then go to the, a chapter in this book or wait to do the whole book and then launch on this book sigma algebras yeah construction of a non-measurable set And I'll just uh, page a little more uh, through the book. The Lebesgue Integral, Fubini's Theorem. So yeah, this book, like all the others, have uh, problems and exercises. So the exercises are the ones uh, that you're supposed to do with relative ease. I don't know what that means. Um, most of them are proofs. And then the problems at the end of the chapter are usually harder, they're more research type uh, problems at the end of the chapter. Yeah. So a lot of Hilbert space content. And in this case, for the Hilbert space content, for sure, that would be something that I would do before, before I start on the book. And uh, I think by now, I've made a video on a couple of Hilbert Space books. I'll just show one here. And so this is the type of book that I would go through 
uh, before I started on volume three of the Princeton Lectures and Analysis. And I'll just show briefly the uh, table of contents for this book. Vector spaces, then getting down to the Lebes, uh integral, Hilbert spaces. Yeah, so this is more like, almost like ha half of the book from Princeton, but for uh, for babies like me. Yeah, for babies like me. And I've made a, a video about this book, so I'm just showing it as part of the coupling with. Now, of course, <clears throat> Axler has this really uh, great uh, measure integration and real analysis book, which I would do. Of course, it's a graduate level book uh, before or during the reading of the Princeton book. And I'll just briefly show the table of contents. I have not made a video specific to this book yet uh, because these these four videos for the Princeton lectures are just sort of like a bookmark kind of video for myself, something that at some point I'll go watch for myself or my own use uh, just to see what... And I, I also am very interesting to see what my opinions are as they change as I learn more mathematics. There you go, Hilbert spaces. For your analysis, yeah. probability measures. Yeah, so yeah, that's that book. And then finally, uh, there's uh, there's Royden's book, which of course I think after he passed away got out an author to make another a fourth edition. This is a, a, a Indian print. I plan at some point to get me the original Royden, uh, the one that's not uh, printed in India. Yeah, from Stanford. And I've read parts of this book before, like parts, like really tiny parts. Uh, so yeah, Lebesgue integration, spaces, banach hilbert spaces, measure and integration general theory. Yeah, so this, this is yet another book that would be coupled with. But I think I would go through this book first. And I'm not sure what the order will be if and when I get to this point in my learning, uh, but I have found this book to be very readable, uh, so it, it's definitely a book that I would like to uh, read completely. Yeah. All right. So that's that's what I have for uh, the third volume. Uh, so it's really uh, definitely a stretch, uh, and I'm not sure when I'll get around to reading it.